Hey, what's up guys? Aparsh here. I'm sorry that I haven't made more videos lately. Um, the last video I made was probably two or three weeks ago, and in that video I was apologizing for not making more videos because prior to that video, so going back, I don't know, a month or so ago, um, I was trying to do three to five videos every week, and I was getting all that traction. The subscriber base was going up and up, and my goal that I had always been talking about in those videos was to get to a thousand subscribers. I had already gotten to the uh, minimum watch hours, which is great. So thanks for all the one, everyone here that subscribed and you know been watching the videos. I appreciate that. And I apologize again for not making more videos lately. And it's not because I don't want to. It's because I can't. I, it's it's time related. Uh, my job has just been so nuts um, that I can't I can't take time away from my getting my job done to make the videos. So um, today I had a little bit of uh, this little window to do a couple things for myself. So I'm gonna wash my car um, and we'll go show you how dirty it is. And um, and then I wanted to make this video as well, uh, just to keep the, those 700 people that are probably like, man, what happened? Where are your videos? Like at least give them something, um, you know, keep you guys a little bit happy. Um, so yeah, let's let's go out and look at the car and uh, roll an intro. Let's go show them how dirty the GT3 RS is. Come on, come on, Trixie. Let's go show them. Come on. Trixie, what do you think of Stradman's new dog, Oscar? The Samoyed. Are you getting triggered every time he calls him Husky in his video? I certainly am getting triggered, but hey, I'm the one that rolled a Hot Wheels car off of my windshield in my last video and could have nicked the paint. All right, let's show them how dirty my car got. So, I haven't just neglected my YouTube videos, I've neglected this car. I mean, I've been driving the crap out of it. It has 1,300 miles on it, um, but it is so dirty. And you know what, I don't think this is showing it that well in this light, but like, just look at the windshield. You see like dead bugs and stuff on there? I know there is a dead bug like, My wife just got home. But look at all this. Look at all these dead bugs. Dead bugs, it's dirty. And my dog almost got hit by a car. But she does that, that's what she does. So yeah, it's gonna get washed today. Look at these vents. Filthy, look at these wheels, filthy. I did make a couple upgrades in my office. Um, nothing too crazy, but I used to have an Alienware 25 inch monitor on the left side that was a 240 hertz. And then this Asus ROG Swift on the right. Um, I got kind of tired of how bad the image quality was on the Alienware. So I got two Asus ROG Swift so they match. And then instead of having them on stands, I got one of these guys with the, um, what do they call it? Like a monitor arm, dual monitor arm mount, I think is what it's called, something of that nature. So it kind of gives me a little bit more desk space down here. And this is what the Alienware monitor was right here. That guy's going back to work, we'll sell that on eBay or something. And then uh, kind of disappointing, I, uh, I started making a whole video about installing a PCIe uh, SSD a crazy fast one that I was gonna put in this PCIe slot right here, but um, Didn't work and I have to do some more testing, but I think it's the problem with this motherboard and not just the SSD itself Because um, I did have a problem with this motherboard once before So that was a little bit annoying. I'm probably I'm probably due to do a, a whole new motherboard 
um, and a new video card pretty soon here. Although I do love this video card because it just looks so sick. And it's a 1080 Ti, so it still performs great, but I mean, I own a computer business. Usually I try to stay on the, the bleeding edge. So 2080 Ti has been out for, I don't even know, five months now. It's been out for a long time. Um, I don't really need it, but I thought it might be kind of fun. Anyway, I'm about to sit down at this computer and continue recording from my webcam. All right, so we're back at the desk and now we're gonna jump into talking about, um, let's talk a little bit more about why I've been so busy at work. Then let's talk about uh, my favorite YouTubers and how it's kind of funny that they're building some of my, they're building some of the same cars right now. And, uh, and then let's talk a little bit more about uh, Stradman's dog that I just mentioned in, with my dog, but uh, okay, so the thing that's been keeping me so busy at work is that uh, the company Facebook, I'll probably, you know what, I'll do this. I'll make it a little bit fun. You guys can follow along. Uh, Facebook, as you guys know who they are, uh, everyone knows who Facebook is. They own a company called Oculus. I'm sure tons of you know who that is, but Oculus makes a VR headset. Uh, I have a VR headset right here. So this is the HTC Vive, Vive, whatever you want to call it. And this is the competitor to what Oculus makes, which is called the Oculus Rift. Um, so Oculus has quite a few employees and uh, apparently they sold all their computers to a company I do business with. They, I don't know if you want to say sold them because I have no idea what, how that transaction worked between Oculus and the company I bought them from, but there was some sort of data destruction agreement and things of that nature where they had to remove all the memory and hard drives and SSDs from the computers before they were able to sell them to someone like me. And I was told that there was somewhere in the ballpark of a thousand computers coming out of there. And I've personally purchased uh, 740, I think it's, it is. So um, I don't know if the supplier has another 200 in the pipeline or if I just bought the last of them. He had already sold some before I bought some, but let's just say this has been a lot of work. Uh, so every computer that comes into my, my warehouse, um, you know, we, we have to take the whole thing apart. So we've got a, a huge, massive case, a tower chassis. Uh, with a motherboard in it, a CPU, a uh, video card. There's also a DVD or W optical drive in there. There are There's a water cooler on every computer. Um, there are two side fans and the power supply. Um, so we're taking pretty much every little piece apart and then uh, packaging the, we're testing the video cards, testing the CPUs, testing the motherboards. Uh, so all those parts need to be tested individually, which is a ton of work for each computer, for 700 computers. And then um, we're, uh, we're taking the, uh, sorry, testing the power supply as well. We leave the DVD-RW in the case because they're not really worth anything anymore. I mean, the, yeah, we could probably put them up on eBay for 15 bucks or something, but the shipping and everything makes it kind of a waste of time to even try. Um, so we're, we're literally scrapping the case with the, uh, DVD or W and two of the nice, uh, they're like Sith 140 millimeter fans that it feels, it feels bad to throw them away as fans because they're really nice fans. But I mean, we're going to have 1500 of them. And what are we going to do with 1500 140 millimeter fans? The time it takes to take them out is it's just not worth it. So, uh, you know, so we're going to have stacks and hundreds of motherboards and video, video cards sell pretty fast. The motherboards are okay there, but they're probably going to be in our warehouse for a long time. Um, and then the CPUs, we, we sell those immediately to a, a buyer we have over. Um, but as you can imagine, taking just physically taking each desktop apart with drills and stuff, taking all the screws out uh, and troubleshooting some of the systems. If, if there's, if we're plugging in, it's not turning on on the first initial test, then okay, is the motherboard bad? Is the power supply bad? Is the CPU bad? Is the video card bad? Uh, taking all those parts out and then plugging them into other good parts to, that are in our test benches to make sure you know there's a test bench for a video card, a test bench for a CPU, test bench for a motherboard, um, where we're using parts we already know are good and then retesting those things to make sure that they are good. There's always going to be if the, if it wasn't working on the 
initial one, which part was bad and finding that out so that we don't accidentally sell a bad part to a customer and make the customer mad. That's important, right? So um, I'm personally, you know, some, everyone's different and uh, I, I, I keep very involved in all the projects going on in my warehouse. I could just say, uh, hey guys in the warehouse, get this project done, do it and, and wait for them to finish it. But I, I like to actually be out there doing a lot of the physical work myself. Um, and keeping an eye to make sure that everything's going correctly. Um, so my hands have been pretty ripped up and torn up lately and, uh, you know, doing a lot more physical work than I normally do, which is pretty fun because I like building computers and taking them apart. Um, but anyway, that's kind of a, there's a lot of other stuff going on too with my job that's just, you know, I don't know why, but it's just been way crazier than it, it had been before. Um, and, you know, if I want to get a, another... <laughs> Cool car in the near future i i need to do this stuff so um and i also uh the good news that the group more related to this channel because everyone most people are here for cars not for computers so uh we will be moving into a new warehouse soon and that new warehouse will be much bigger than what i have right now and a lot some of that space in that new warehouse is going to be dedicated to putting like a lift for cars and being able to work on cars um a lot um, anyway, let's talk about some other things that I'm interested in. You guys give me some feedback in the comments. Let me know if this stuff is like not for you because I'm a big fan of the car rebuild channels. I watch a lot of them. There's like, and I'm going to forget a bunch of them even just but B is for build uh, big time fan goon squad uh, Tavarish. Um, let's see. Uh, Rich rebuilds. Um, and then we've got. You know, I can't remember the guy's name, but there's a guy that started doing a 350Z with a with a, a Hellcat motor he was putting into it, and I don't know what happened with him because I was subscribed and I stopped seeing videos from. Him. I think he pulled an Aparsh on on me, where he stopped making videos. But um, he's been he's pretty cool, and there's there's like a bunch of other guys. I'm just uh, Sam Crack is pretty popular, um, but yeah, so there's a bunch more, um, and I I really like those videos a lot. So, uh, but B is for Bill and Goon Squad are probably like my two, maybe Tavarish is up there too, but B is for Bill and Goon Squad, definitely my first two favorite guys. And uh, the the funny thing to me is that B is for Bill and Goon Squad, you'll, you'll never, you've never heard them mention each other, which I think is quite strange because they're constantly doing very similar stuff. And now it got even weirder because both of them just did GTRs at the same time. They both just finished their GTRs. Um, actually, I want to say that BS for Build started his first, and that Goon Squad started after, but that Goon Squad finished theirs first before BS for Build. And then the creepier thing is that they both just unveiled their new cars. I, I want to say it was on the same day or like one day apart, and they both are doing Lamborghini Huracans, uh, which is pretty disappointing <laughs> for someone like me, who I, I think that the Lamborghini Huracan is a, a garbage car. That's just my opinion. I think it's terrible. It's a it's a waste of money, overpriced. It's not well built. Um, there's a million things I could say about the Huracan that bother me. I wanted to mention again is how much the Huracan sucks as a car. Um, first of all, the 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 word Huracan, the font that they use, just looks garbage to me. I mean, I think it looks so cheap. It, it I don't I don't even know how to explain it very well, but I think it just looks so terrible. This weird font, and it's a it's a uh, Italian car, and that font just reminds me of I don't. It, it's like uh, it almost looks like it's supposed to be like Chinese or something. Like look, let's look at it. Huracan logo. This right here, like the the angles and stuff. I don't understand how they ever would have thought this was a good idea. It, it I don't know. It just comes off really weird to me. I, I want to say that they did this because they had this whole like honeycomb pattern all over the place with the sharp angles on the car. Like you can see them in the seat and when you're looking at the dashboard, they're all over the place in the dashboard. But when I sat in one, I just, I, I've ted, said this many times in my videos. As soon as I almost opened the door handle, I was like, this, this car sucks. As soon as I sat in the seat, I was confirmed this is the worst sports car I've ever sat in. There's so many better cars 
there's no viewing. You, you can barely see out of the car. It has a terrible viewing angle or uh, viewability. Um, call it the. Uh, it's just like the whole cockpit feels terrible in that car. I don't know how Parker from Vehicle Virgins put up with that car for so long. I, I think he's a lot shorter than me, so maybe that helped that he could see better than I could. I'm only six foot though. It's not like I'm six four. I'm not like Ed Bullion or something like that. Um, anyway, I I hate these cars, and I'm pretty sure that uh, there's a chance that between Goon Squad or Chris from BS for Build, that maybe one of them actually had never really driven one or sat in one before, so they may have ruled over the idea because that that's what everyone everyone sees how cool Lambo looks, and a lot of people kind of in their heads say like, oh Ferrari, Ferrari's not my style. I get, I get that because I felt that way before. Where like, oh, I, if I was ever going to get a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, I'd definitely get the Lamborghini. After I sat in both of them and drove, well, I didn't drive both of them. I didn't drive a Lamb. I I don't want to drive one of these. It's not worth it to even waste time driving it. Um, but after I drove a Ferrari and sat in a Huracan, I knew that Ferrari four eighty eight was just massively better. Um, so I wish they would have done 488s, and I know for Chris that would have been awkward because TJ just did the 458. Um, and then I don't, I, I think Goon Squad, if I had to guess, and correct me people if anyone knows better, but I'm guessing they just were like, had always drooled over the car, and they're young guys, and they probably just jumped at the chance to do it. And I would not be surprised if both people sell their Huracons. I wanted to talk about Stradman's new dog, man. This is uh, exciting. Uh, Stradman, I'll just put Stradman, this is his latest video. Um, he guys, he got a Samoyed named Oscar, and I Come got, on, Oski. He, Come he mentioned on. he was getting him. I got really excited about this, because I have a Samoyed. Trixie's like the best dog I've ever had in my life. I'm really pumped up for him, and he lives in Utah where there's snow and stuff, so his, this dog's going to be so happy. Um, my, I showed my wife and my daughter last night. They were so pumped up. About it. Ladies and, and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. This is Oscar Marshmallow. Oscar, say hi yeah. to the viewers. Say hi to the viewers. So Oscar Marshmallow is nine weeks old. O S K A R, and then Marshmallow is his middle name. Anyway, so listen, guys. This probably you guys probably are hoping this to be like a video of me doing donuts or something. I think I actually have some footage. Well, yeah, it's so much and sliding. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Whole, like filming thing and the video I was gonna make about doing donuts and stuff in my GT3 RS and it was wet outside. I just didn't like the video enough to actually make it. As funny as that sounds, and you guys are probably like, "Oh, what? That video is probably better than this one you're making right now." But it would have took a lot of work to make it good, and I just didn't have the time again. So I hope, I hope I get more time to make more videos for you guys. This video probably went way too long, as all my videos always do. Um, and so I'm hoping that sometime, maybe in a couple months, maybe I'll have a lot more time to continue this channel. This channel is not going away by any means it will be going for a very long time and i just want to um i want to be able to get some more time to to put toward it and just know that if i'm spending a lot of time away from this it should always be a for a good reason it's always going to be for work and uh if i'm do if i'm so busy at work that i can't make these videos it means that the videos that will be coming in the future will probably the the things that i'll have to to put on the channel should get cooler and better and there should be upgrades and things like that and I, I don't know that's i really like that kind of stuff i hope you guys too you guys do too um so why don't you guys if if you guys have any ideas of things that you guys want to see me do feel free to comment about that i'm i am planning that one like as soon as i can get my head above water here at work i do want to def i definitely want to go up to the uh porsche uh race porsche racing track up in la uh, it's like right next to one of the freeways up there. It's a couple hours away, so I definitely want to get up there, take some driving courses. Um, that that that's like definitely on the top of my to do list for when I get some time. So when that happens, I'll definitely get some good footage and talk about it. Um, and that's that's it for now, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. And like I said, if you have any ideas, feel free to comment.